Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Salt and Sacrifice. Now you might be wondering what we're doing here in Ashborn Village, which should be cleared. And it is, as far as I'm aware, except for that guy up there, who uh, we talked to in like episode one. Well, no, actually episode two. But um, never again, apparently. However, I did on my other character, just, I don't know. I, I could have sworn, actually, I, I had returned to this guy. Um, at some point, but apparently I hadn't, because when you do, there's some new dialogue. I guess he was just waiting for us to unseal that door. I do remember him talking about how it was sealed when he came here, um, and basically telling us that we would have to unseal it. Um, so yeah, you just have to return to him. You did it! You broke the warding seal and opened the door! Sure did, <laughs> quite some time ago. Finally, I can return home! Right. Uh, although, well, I mean, technically this is his home, right? He didn't say that he was that he returned from a long journey to this place to find it in its current sorry state. Um, and since he was waiting for us to open this, I would assume that that in there is his home. Well, either way, be that as it may, when you return to Ashbourne Village. Uh, not Ashbourne Village. Hardness Vale, of course. Well, he's actually here as an NPC now. And kind of an important one. I haven't really experimented a lot with his uh, services, but um, I will take a closer look at that. Uh, also, speaking of uh, Hardness Vale, Hera uh, actually did apparently disappear after I returned from picking up her armor set. So that's weird. I mean, it was just sitting there in that chest all along, right? Presumably. So, what would me going there and picking that up have to do with her disappearing from Partner's Veil with, without so much as, you know, any kind of message or anything? Or anyone even acknowledging, any NPC acknowledging her being gone. So, yeah, that's weird. Also, what am I doing? I suppose I'm. what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and pick up a bunch of artifacts. Which uh, I have been lazily stashing away here. Um, in the beginning, I had been selling them, but you know, we don't really need the money, and there are just so many of them. Guess I'll just take them all. Basically, everything everything I stashed away, I deemed not really worth using. So should be good here. Anyway, let's talk to him first, I suppose. I tried to return to my home in the Outridge district. Yes. But there were so many bodies, so much blood, and the living dead. Why do the gods allow this? What twisted game culminates in a weary traveler, a we weary traveler, fleeing the reanimated corpses of his former family? I almost forgot to mention, I'm skilled in purging mystical artifacts of their powers. As it happens, the power in those artifacts comes from great memories, and when I draw them out, I leave you with a fine powdery substance, the likes of which can prove useful. What can I help you with? So, it turns out that this is kind of a... I don't know if it's a major mechanic, but it's obviously a thing we've been missing out on and we could have ac could have had access to since, you know, b basically the very beginning of the game. So that's cool. Uh, funny how many things we describe power to, we ascribe power to, are nothing more than the myths we tell about them. Uh, sure. Okay. Right, so, for example, he can split pure stones. Yeah. Didn't have very many to experiment on with my uh, other character, but uh, yeah, apparently he can just break down materials into the next lower tier. Oh, interesting, actually. I guess clusters get broken up into one trio and one single. Huh. I mean, sure, why not, I guess. Yeah, obviously, that makes sense. <laughs> that's, that's more useful to, than breaking it up into two uh, twin versions. Anyway, uh, we don't need to do that because we're really only looking for clusters at this point. But I guess I, well, I guess that could have been useful, maybe in the past for upgrading some stuff, or catching up with some some lower level upgrades. But yeah, for now, we're all caught up in that. Um, so the more interesting thing is he can purge artifacts, which is basically disenchanting them into these um, these. Colored skulls, uh, 
the color always representing the type of skull, uh, type of artifact. So yeah, common ones give you white. We only have one common one here, apparently. Very rare is purple, rare is blue, and then legendary is yellow. So that's neat. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess I can just break all the ones down that are not amazing. I guess basically everything I don't have currently equipped is... Yeah, you know what, I, I put them into the box because I was not going to use them, so I might as well just not take the time to look at them. There you go. Um, we had actually found at least one of those uh, skull-type items. Or, you know, essences or whatever they're officially called. Yeah. Had found, a found, one, found one of those. Legendary material. A dawning memory, right? Memories. A faint memory once attached to a beloved artifact. Yeah. That's right. I do remember seeing that, but obviously I didn't know what that was for at the time. I don't know that I found any others. Oh, I think we have so many materials. It's, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Apparently we did not have any other types of memories because they're all at the bottom of the list here. What is that? Ephemeral Lash. Delicate eyelash of one who sees beyond the confines of time. That is right, we have seen... Yeah, we've picked up a couple of these random materials from some of the minions of those demonic-looking... Well, mages, I guess? I don't know if they're... I mean, they behave like mages, so I guess they're mages. I suppose they could be, like, de demonomancers. I don't know what that would be. Um, what the, the actual name would be. Anyway, Demon Fang. The Fang of some uh, Infirian beast. Infirian, like the... Or Infirian. I don't know. Like the uh, the Warden, the tutorial boss. Hmm. So, apparently they're related somehow. It is uh, etched with runes of malice. Alright. Rune Knuckle. Neural Fluid. That's That must be from one of the Neuromancer pets. This one as well, perhaps? I don't know. Anyway, now, uh, we have these memories. And with them, well, we can... Right, we can combine them, upgrade them, upgrade two lower level ones into a higher level one. So that's neat. And we can bolster artifacts. Now, I have not experimented with that a lot. Also, I'm dumb, because I was actually planning to keep at least one interesting looking artifact around because the thing is when you upgrade an artifact um yeah basically it's, it, it says re-roll right there it's not just upgrading it it re-rolls so it does go up one level i believe it stays within the same tier of rarity so as far as i can tell anyway maybe maybe after a certain level it does get upgraded to the next higher uh quality but i haven't been able to confirm that uh, however, the uh, the set of modifiers it gets uh, actually do get re-rolled. So if you have something with modifiers that you like, you're better off not re-rolling it unless you you're willing to and able to re-roll it, you know, many many times, enough times to hopefully get another favorable combination of of bonuses. So uh, actually, I kind of don't want to jeopardize any one of these, or do I? I mean, melee damage, stamina re stamina reduction voice damage. This one, because it has this combination of item silver and salt, I am not going to jeopardize for the time being. Health stamina and two defenses. I mean, honestly, this one is not amazing as far as these go. It's pretty pretty standard, basically. I guess you always get health and, you know, either stamina or stamina uh, regeneration speed or I guess stamina reduction are pretty common as well, and I don't really care about the extra defenses. They're just a bonus. So I could reroll this one. This one, however... I feel like we can get something similarly good. Let's just do it, you know, just for the heck of it. So right now it's melee damage, poise damage, which I don't care that much about, although I suppose it's useful enough. And then stamina reduction. I mean, those are... Honestly, those are good, but, you know, whatever. I'm gonna find something good again. Melee damage, poise damage, a lot of poise damage. Less melee damage, though. And damage versus haste burned, which, you know... It's kind of not that great. Wait, why is it... Oh, can you only... Bolster? Oh, you can only bolster once? Wait, what? I guess. Well, okay. I didn't know that. I didn't have enough 
artifacts available on my paladin to, to really play around with as much as you can tell. So that's kind of unfortunate. So no multiple rerolls at all. Well, so that was a bit of a downgrade. I mean, the extra poise damage, I guess, is potentially good. More staggers, especially against mages, of course. Hopefully meaning more, um, you know, grapple attacks, which are really good. Slightly less damage. I guess it's not a huge loss, like 1%. Damage versus haste burned. Eh, you know. You do fight a lot of those, but they're not typically the biggest threats you're dealing with. So, yeah, overall, not not that amazing. Hmm. But, you know, at least we disenchanted the other ones, and I guess I'm just gonna keep... Well, I mean, basically you just want to keep any legendaries, legendary artifacts. You break, break everything down that's not legendary, I suppose. Um, combine those lower level memories you get into until you get more legendary upgrade materials and then you keep all legendary artifacts you find and if they're not already amazing you reroll them for a chance to get a better one and I guess if you reroll it and it's not amazing you can disenchant that one as well to have another reroll for another one that you find I guess I mean it seems like that would work out right and that would be the the most I don't know efficient way to do it to use the system. Well, I suppose it's not really that big of a deal because we've been finding tons of artifacts on, uh, as it is and tons of good ones as well. So there's that. I did want to also take a look at the best area again because, well, we've seen a couple of interesting enemies. Oops. Of course, I'm just gonna, once again, quickly go through the list. Rather than look at the names and try to remember. I mean, obviously I wouldn't really know the names for enemies I haven't looked up yet, so. Uh, Glasskeeper, that is a new one. Ghoulish Keeper of a Chronomantic Hourglass. Chronomantic? Wait. So, oh yeah. Chronomancer. So, oh, that that must be the the one mage that I couldn't really identify in the in all that chaos going on in the Temple of Eleven. I thought that was yeah. I thought these were uh, neuromancer pets, but obviously not. So chronomancers are a thing. And those drop the ephemeral lash. I see. Ghoulish keeper of a chronomantic hourglass. The sense of the hourglass holds strange power over time, but the glass keeper does not does only what the chronomancer bids. Right. Chronomancer. Whom we have not actually officially met yet. Scarge Penitent. Have we seen you? Scale, pa scale plate guard. Oh yeah, I believe this one was summoned by the big, by the big demon-looking thing. A guard named for its resplendent dra uh, draconic. Oh, so that was not a demon, but a dragon, dra dracomancer, I guess. Huh. Draconic plate armor. Uh, the scale plate are set to guard the seventeen fabled vaults of. Uh, Arxa Vexilion, none of which have been confirmed to exist. Oh. Inferion Drone. An Inferion denizen of low station. Drones dutifully carry out mundane and dangerous tasks, expanding the Inferion Chasm's hive like tunnels, mining for ore and transporting equipment. Inferion Chasm, huh? Don't tell me that's an area we're gonna visit. Because it. Sure looks and sounds like it. Chasm Lord. Hi there. A taskmaster of the Inferion Chasm. Each Chasm Lord supervises as many as a hundred drones, imposing brutal punishments on those that fail to meet what is expected of them. Scattermind. A crawling, malformed brain. Scatterminds are creatures conjured purely of neuromancy. Oh, okay, that was a neuromancy pad. Capable of performing complex mental tasks tasks for their masters before succumbing to the elements. Um, I had looked at you, of course. Eternal Guard, yes. Oh, I don't even remember seeing this thing, let alone killing it. Oh no, never mind. That must be the that must have been the the almost invisible one. It definitely didn't look well. This clearly visible when I fought it. Um, Chrysocest. an ice-blooded cave-dwelling carnivore. The Chrysocest's paralyzing sting makes them extremely dangerous, and yet tales of their domestic 
Uh, domestication abound. Hmm. Rim reader, right. Rhyme? <laughs> Rim. Rhyme reader, actually. An ascetic of the Sentinel Caves. They are said to possess great power through knowledge of the runes spelled in cave rhyme. Okay. Temple High Blade, Sentinel Eye. No, these, these we've seen before. Okay. Alright. Just a quick update on those, I guess. Uh, because it seems like we're going to be running into a, a bunch more new enemies if we keep exploring. Now, I also... Um, I meant to look, or I wanted to look at a map for... Which one did I look up initially? I don't know. Well, I ended up looking for maps for the first three areas, basically. Um, and it turns out that there aren't any that I could easily find anyway. In fact, there is really not a ton of information about the game, even on the wiki. It's pretty sparse. Um, I guess the game is still pretty new, and I guess the player base isn't as great as it could be. Because, once again, Epic Store exclusive, so, you know. Um, anyway, it turns out that uh, I, I tried to look for information on uh, on any places where where I could use the... Uh, where you can use the uh, Ether Cloth Bolt to ride up uh, Ether Vents, I guess. That's what they may or may not be officially called. Uh, and I couldn't find any information on any that I didn't know about, so it seems like I am I actually fully cleared the first two areas, and I couldn't find any information on either events in uh, the mire at all, so I guess... Alright, and the thing that was um, stopping me from progressing to the right-hand side of the top of the tree, of course, was a sealed door that requires one more mage to be hunted. Right. Uh, so, the only place we can go there for the time being is to the left, up and to the left, into that terrible place that we don't want to mention. At least for now. Um, for now, however. Oh, I think we have new enemies here. Or do we? No. They're... Yes? Actually, they are new. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna worry about those for now. I want to still hunt the Neuromancer rather than the Mechanomancer. So let's give that one more shot, I guess. For real this time. So we basically just ascend the mountain again. Of course, now that we're on a mage hunt, we're gonna have all those other rogue mages spawning all over the place. Including those, well, demonomancers. Also, I forgot that there is actually an opening, a door into the mountain here. Because last time I think I said something, uh, I said that there wasn't an opening. But of course, well, for all intents and purposes, there isn't because we can't open it from this side. But that does confirm that there is something inside the mountain on this level. Except that we have to find some sort of way into it. From somewhere above, obviously. Most likely... Come down, please. Most likely from uh, past that... That sealed door. Oh, you, you tried. Hmm. You know, uh, that's fine. Wandering away works for me as well. Oh, you know what? I did not upgrade my healing flask. And... Hi there. Oh yeah, okay. He... That guy does summon little dragons. I kind of don't want to... I mean, I, I kind of want to fight those new enemies. On the other hand... Those are, you know, even hunting these random mages. It's a pretty lengthy undertaking. And, you know, kind of on a mission here. So I'll try to focus on the Neuromancer for the time being, and, you know, depending on how that goes, I might maybe... So is this a Chronomancer? Definitely is new. Uh, well, yeah. And it's not the Neuromancer that we've seen. Although, wait, or is it? Maybe the other one was a Chronomancer. The one that I thought was a Neuromancer that one time. Because these are Neuromancer pets, right? It makes sense. They're tiny floating brains with legs. 
Or tentacles? Hard to tell. Oh, the arrow is pointing toward this one, huh? Yeah. Ow. Okay. Right. War of the Mages. Oh, did not see you there, little guy. Good job being hard to spot, <laughs> I guess. Alright. Stuff. That's neat. Obviously, we grab this checkpoint here. And then we hope that our target isn't gonna run too far away. No. It seems like this guy can be hit from ground level, at least. Unless he was, he just happened to be floating a little bit closer to to the floor than he normally would. But that would be appreciated for sure. I was over there, right? That's where I. Yeah. Yeah, surely. Of course, it's where I first got the the cloth. After all. What the heck are you? an empty robe with a skull and two sickle blades floating above it or something mm. wait so this is the chronomancer though because it summons chronomancer pets yeah wait but wasn't the the trail of whatever my, my tracking tool pointing at, at that one, and not the other? The skinny one? I'm confused. Um, also, there is something on the other side of this chasm, and I don't really know how I could possibly get there. Oh. Oh god. These, these guards, they look so inconspicuous. But they hit pretty hard. Now the game wants me to go straight up, which might be a place that I have not actually been to. Right, okay. Coast is clear for the time being. Yeah, it does not seem like I can actually make it across there. Huh. Okay then. I believe down there is just death. This was a door that takes two more hearts, right? Oh yeah, this is a place with a lot of small enemies, but thankfully you can kill them quickly though. So as long as you don't get, uh, you know, surrounded by them, like I did that one time. Shouldn't be that bad. Alright, oh god, there is... There are things going on up there. Holy moly. Now. What is this button gonna do? Oh, nothing, apparently. What? That's weird. Hmm. That's that's unexpected. Well, I guess I don't want to go up there for now. So this is where our mage is. It's also where a lot of other stuff is. Oh yeah, cool. Thanks for killing that one. Do we have here a salt piece? Okay. Not that amazing. Okay, that's our mark. Okay. No, turn around, please. Yeah. Get hit by one of those annoying little brains again. Okay, now we have to keep going up. Kind of hope there's a closer, um, you know, checkpoint somewhere. That would be awfully convenient. Compared to having to reclimb this every single time. Okay, so uh, just avoid this as best we can. 
I hope we don't get sniped out of the air. All right, so far so good. Oh, that's that big brain is new for sure. Oh god, this is not amazing. Oh god, that thing is also new. What is what is happening here? Oh god, I I was floating. Um, time, yeah, chronomancy, of course. Some time freeze bubbles. Interesting stuff. Also scary. Okay. We want to go further up. What is here, actually? The other mage. Oh no. No. Okay. Oh no. He's fighting me now. Ah, uh, this is not a good idea, probably. You probably want to stay away from those bubbles whenever you can. Okay, he's gone now. All right. Heartbeat is getting quieter. Nothing here, huh? This looks like another potential boss fight room. We have another trap there. Oh, and we have a shortcut, or a... I keep saying shortcut when I mean checkpoint. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to just rest here, honestly. In fact, yeah, with one healing, I mean, that's just... There's just no way that was gonna work out. Ouch. Oh. And the boss arena is right here. Well then. It's Isaac Zoom, the cursed riddle. What? Okay. Oh, our arrows deal a good chunk of damage. Which is nice. Okay, oh. This is a, an interesting ability, for sure. Get the damage over time. Doing a lot of work here. Okay, let's not squander this one. Um. <laughs> Might as well throw some projectiles this way and do some extra healing. And he's dead. Okay. Just like that. Of course, I'm also standing inside this damage line, but thankfully iframes while devouring helped me here. Okay, that was not that hard. Honestly, in fact, it seems like Neuromancers might be among the easier mages to fight, unless we've we've not seen a bunch of things he could have potentially done. The pets are kind of annoying, I guess. But then, well, yeah, really mostly annoying. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna talk to you. Eventually, when you don't talk to these, um, they will just collapse and be gone. So you absolutely don't have to talk to them, I guess. And not all of the mages, the mages, mage remains, I guess, can be talked to, of course, as we've seen. So I wonder if this this has any relevance. Remind me, Inquisitor, if the mist comes after the dawn, but before the sun, and an egg comes after breakfast, but before an illness, which comes first, life, death, or the beyond? No more rails, you die. Simpleton, the secrets of this realm pale in comparison to the secrets of the gods. I spoke to Zelfzuin. I crossed a bridge no mortal has ever crossed, a bridge of pure thought. Yeah, and see where it got you. I saw an infinite maze of interlocking symbols, branches in an endless vault of thought. My mind swarm as a vast, brilliant sea. But there's so much fog now. Yep. And you're dead. Good job. Alright, these guys are definitely quite resistant to our current weapon, but I guess it's it's fine. We unlocked this. Okay. Ooh, and there's the next mage hunt right away. Well then. And that's a Chronomancer. Devour Zaruman Tam. Alright. Tier 12. The destruction of the Samayavora at the hands of the gods ushered in an era of mortality, birth, life, and death. Zaruman Tam, Tam gave himself... To over to chronomancy, and in doing so threatens to unravel reality itself. That seems dangerous. 
Okay, Blaze Pair and Ash Pair, so fire and physical. Um, right. Might as well. Is there anywhere else we can go from here? Yes, actually. Okay. But not up here immediately. That seems to be the top for now. Is that... No, that's another Neuromancer. Interesting. Um, there is, of course, the, the door that we can unlock or unseal. Wait, is it pointing over that way? Oh, it is. Huh? Uh, there is a door that we can unseal further down, which might uh, unlock the way deeper into the, you know, the lower levels of the mountain. Oh, he's right here. Or she. Who knows? No, he, I guess. Zaruman. Ooh, okay. Come down, please. Give me all those eyelashes. Um, yeah. Ow. Okay, let's not get too careless here. Melee attack as well. Hmm. They're mostly annoying for really enjoying floating out of my reach. But then again, I guess the AI is nice enough to come closer to the ground periodically. Now, where did you run off to? Somewhere. Then down that way? Okay. It's fine by me because I wanted to check this out anyway. Okay. Uh, salt piece, exotic strand, more ammo. Mm. Oh, please stay here. No. No. Okay, that works. Kind of? Yep. A bunch of grappling hooks here. Hmm. But surely this must be above places that I have not actually been to. Ah, oh no! <gasps> that worked. Thank goodness. Thankfully, you, you're not just completely stunned while being knocked back like that. And if there is a, a grappling hook, you can't actually use it. Okay, let's grapple up here real quick. Let those guys fight it out down there. There is a circle here, and this is the wrong end of the shortcut. Actually, is there something there? It must be. Oh, hi. Oh, okay. Thankfully, he was mostly dead. Oh, wait. Interesting. So you want to activate this one first. Then travel down, activate the stone circle, and use the zipline to get back up quickly to whatever there is that the circle actually activates, I guess. Interesting. There's nothing here. Never mind then. Hmm. Can keep climbing down though. There's another sealed door. Acquiring four more hearts. Holy moly. Okay. That is now officially the highest hearts requirement door that we've seen. Oh god. Um, <laughs> oh, we had activated this one. Interesting. Wait. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just quickly double checking this one. Okay. This one previously took four more hearts, but now, of course, we've recently devoured one. So that's now down to three. Uh, oh god. That was almost really bad. Yikes. That attack was really bad. Oh no, that's not great. Yeah, those are gonna just shoot at me. So what are you? Just attacking you should put you in the best area, right? Although I thought I attacked it before. So maybe not. 
yeah, anyway, that was, uh, that was something. So we've been up here, is what you're telling me. Uh, is this a shortcut? Wait. Um, so above this one, above here, actually, somewhere there must be the other, the upper end of that other zipline that we saw, right? Or pulley, um, but I have no idea how we could potentially get there, except from the, uh, from the ship up there. This one. Huh. I, we must have activated or interacted with these before, right? Because this one was already active. So we have been here. Yeah, of course. We had seen that door. Just reminding myself real quick. Oh, okay. This is our our target, actually. Oh, what's, what is this huge bubble? Oh, okay. Just a large time stop bubble. Gotcha. Is this? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, I'm gonna activate this then. Okay, big sickle. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. No! <gasps> what the hell is that? Oh god, no! <laughs> Not like this! Doorways. Not your friend. Oh god. Um... Jesus, I'm hemorrhaging health. Already very low on on healing items again. Must be getting close to where we're gonna fight this guy. Not here, apparently. Maybe a little bit further. Okay, you guys fight it out, maybe? No, I suppose. Oh. Hitboxes. Okay, well, the big guy is dead, so no more distraction. To helping us, these guys. Come down, please. Seems like they also cannot aim dire directly down. Like one of these twin bosses here. Uh oh. It's stuck on something again. Uh oh. Okay. What? So these creepy things just stop time, I guess? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this is horrible! This is absolutely awful! Please, despawn! Bubble? Okay. Jesus. Yeah, so absolutely never get trapped in these, if there are any enemies around. Or you're likely just screwed. <clears throat> oh? I heard the heartbeat for a second. Are they actually behind the door? Where's the indicator? Up. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna open this for now. Just so when I see it again, I, I'll know that it's a door that I have yet to check out. Oh god, there's the big dragon mancer as well. Ah, here we go. Okay. Well, I suppose I should have. Yeah, I should have grabbed the uh, the checkpoint below, but it's fine. It's easy enough to get back to. Um. Oh, what, what is going on here? These are... Oh god, the Mage's own version of Time Stop. I'm do I don't see myself. Yikes. And I'm out of healing. Um. Oh, uh, grapple? 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 I didn't get the grapple. Oh, thought I was way too late on that one. Oh god. I'm actually, like, super dead. Yep, super dead. Oh, that was so close, though. Okay. Time stop is nasty. I uh, didn't even see what created all those projectiles that <laughs> ended up killing me there, but um, there was just too much going on at the time. I'm not sure it's visible enough. Uh, those huge blades basically just summoned versions of, the, of those spinning blade traps. Um, those are nasty. I want to just make it through here. Oh. And to the uh, to the obelisk. But it doesn't seem like the like the chronomancer is that bad as far as mages go. Well, I don't know. 
suddenly does seem more dangerous, perhaps, than the... Uh... What am I doing? What am I actually doing here? Um, more dangerous than the Chronomancer? No, uh, the, the Neuromancer, rather. Hmm. He summoned new pets. Of course. Of course he would. I don't know. Okay, did he run away now? Seems like it. Okay. So, one more refresh. That guy out of the way. Coast should be clear. Right. There we go. Oh, I didn't even notice the like the the, the actual clock ticking behind the guy. Also, I. What am I doing? I didn't pick up my stuff. I almost completely messed everything up. Wow. Just... Just wow. Okay, yep. Yeah, that... I don't know what I was doing there. I was just... <laughs> I don't know. My brain was completely offline for that entire fight. Of course, no, not my salt is all the way in that corner, which is kind of awkward. He took so much damage from... I have no idea what, actually. Oh god, there are enemies here. Why are there enemies here? No! Get out of here. Heal. Get my stuff. Oh no, the plunging attack is kind of nasty, actually. Quick heal. Let's not get time stopped. Yep, I'm just gonna do one of those. No, don't! Don't stand in one of those and don't get caught by a double melee combo. Jesus. Okay, that's gonna be blades, yeah. Okay, uh, unfortunately, we have this. Time stop bubble right here. That was unfortunate. Didn't really have a good place to heal there. I mean, I was hoping for him to not turn around as quickly as he did, but he did. Hmm. Don't know if I got lucky initially there with him losing it, or you know, being missing as much health as he as he was. He's missing quite a bit again. I mean, oh god, okay. Alright, those melee combos are getting me every single time. Just not ready for them. Nope. Oh, what? What hit me there? Oh, it's an enemy, actually. Um. There. Heal. <laughs> nope. Roll out of that one. Yeah, these guys are nasty. No doubt about that. He's gonna get to another one of those combos. Combos. He's so close though. <gasps> I got him. I basically got him. Wait. I am just completely stuck. What's happening? Hit him, please. Hit him with anything. No. Hit him. What are you doing? Wow. I... Yeah, that was pure chaos. I could absolutely... I could not do anything when I was caught in the big chrono bubble there. That was... That could have been really bad. Okay, dude. Click, tick, click, tick. Yeah, yeah. Two clicks forward, four clicks back. Four clicks forward, eight clicks back. Eight clicks forward, two clicks back. Yeah, that makes sense. Click, tick, click, tick. Back to where you started. <laughs> Is it? I, I was not trying to to keep track. Click, tick. A wheel never begins. A wheel never ends. Time never begins. Time never ends. The end of the time eaters is the beginning of time. The end of time is the beginning of the time eaters. Every moment laid out before me. 
every epoch in my grasp, or epoch, every era ordained, every moment precise. No, the moments, they've scattered. The precision, it's collapsing. Your time is over, dude. All right. Let's never fight one of those again. Neuromancers? Sure. Give me those. Any day, but uh, Chronomancers? No thanks. Ow. Yeah, saw that one coming. Alright, looks like we have about three levels worth of salt. Which is neat. Um. Oh, where'd you come from? You weren't here a second ago. It's not fair. Get staggered, please. Thank you. Okay. Well. That's two new mages down, which is great. That should have unlocked a bunch of doors for us. Well, obviously, including in this very temple or this very this very map. But, with any luck, also in um, Bolgaran, I suppose, and in the Mire. Should I go and check that out real quick? 46 minutes? Yeah, I guess. Because, you know, I'm going to return to to camp, either way. Definitely not uh, no. pushing forward, exploring new stuff now. Not before spending my salt. Yeah, so Hera's just gone. Hmm. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I never read the lore on this. Magnificent plate cuirass of a champion, a very highly ranked officer in Alderson Kingdom's army. Champions are celebrated, but are often punished more severely for their failures. Okay, so nothing specific to her, huh? Die plate gauntlets of a champion, accented in gold. A champion forced into a position of disgrace is permitted to retain their fine armor, at least. A handsome pair of champions grieves. Partner's veil is several hexads march from Alterstone Keep, much of it through bandit-infested territory. Okay, kind of random bit of lore there. Seemingly unconnected to the rest of the items. Um, equipment, actually. Nope. Yes, equipment. Ah. Okay. More melee damage. Stamina reduction. Rage build up. Hmm. And melee reach. You know what? I think I'll take that over my current one. Slightly more damage, but... I mean, the poise damage is nice. Honestly, almost 10% more. That seems pretty significant. Um... Yeah, but, I mean, stamina reduction, awesome. Rage buildup, actually useful, because it seems like that's what we're using for now, even though I would kind of prefer to switch to a weapon with, uh, you know, that uses focus, but, well, I don't have one that's good enough to use for now, so for the time being, rage it is. And then melee reach, I mean, that just seems good. I'm not really sure how it works, but sure. And max health, physical defense, light defense, yeah, okay. Obviously, it's only very rare. Yeah, slightly more max health, but no stamina. Okay. And we get two, three, three levels. Yeah. Right. Actually, 21,200 salt per level at this point. It's kind of nuts. Now, um, I did actually refund a bunch of levels. No, actually, did I do that on camera? Not sure now. Oh yeah, you know what? I did go back. I did go and reget, regut level five forbidden glyphs, and actually unlearned a bunch of light armor skill because, well, apparently we're not using light armor anymore, so it's no real reason to keep these around. Of course, that lost me a little bit of endurance, but we got a bunch of extra endurance for going to level five uh, heavy armor, of course. So that's more than made up for. I might still eventually invest in more um, in more endurance, but with the current helmet being as heavy as it is, I guess there is really no chance of ever dropping, realistically dropping uh, into the lower encumbrance tier. With a different helmet, we easily could, as we've seen, but well, for now I think I'm going to focus on getting more arcana, getting it back up to where it already was at one point, and boosting our damage. Back up again. 
Oh, I wasn't really paying attention to uh, the upgrade materials we got. Okay, apparently, uh, apparently we got Ash Petrios. That's neat. No clusters though, huh? I mean, I guess. Sure, let's upgrade this one fully, so only this one is a little bit behind now. Three more Ash Trios, and that one's at the same level as well. Awesome. Anything new to say? Ah, I see you've taken down a Chronomancer. Yes, with some trouble, but I did. They possess some very interesting relics, those. I'm sure you've noticed it yourself. Sometimes they seem unstuck in time. Like they're making a second or two ahead of... Ahead or... What? Making a second or two ahead or behind. Carnifestal set them straight through. Don't worry. Uh, set them straight, though. All right. Yeah. Actually, kind of curious as to what we can craft with those. Um, this is... Is this Chronomancer gear? Um, Zilf? Zilfzuin? Maybe? Or is this then Neuromancer? Wait. This is... Oh, Infernal stuff, okay. This is one we, that we haven't actually fought yet. Um, this is Corpumancer. Oh, this must be the Dragon guy. Scale plate, yeah, okay. I guess we don't see all the items available for this one. And possibly for this one. Although, there is a lot for this demonic one. That seems like the full assortment. But not a ton of items uh, for the uh, Scalomancer. Hmm. Class 5 heavy, of course. Uh, lacking on dark resistance. Well, and either way, we have... Well, I mean, it's... I suppose, apparently, the gauntlets are better than ours, but everything else is not. Hmm, interesting. I suppose I could mix and match. Well, once I actually hunt one of these guys and have enough materials, of course, but... Uh, regain focus on dagger counterattack, okay. It's not for me, really. Uh, recovers focus upon successful kills. Okay. Yeah, we're not using focus, so... Thanks, but no thanks. Can't make this one yet. So, scale plate escutcheon. A draconic trophy resembling a coat of arms, a symbol of triumph over the relentless arrogance of draconic ancestry. Okay. Uh, red and gold great bow, which is actually a short bow. Interestingly enough, fire and poison. Okay. And pure dexterity scale. Uh, apparently, higher damage than our current one. So that's definitely something I could get. Ooh, slightly increases overall attack and defense. Wow. Not by a ton, but I mean, that seems pretty neat. I'm tempted. Um, let's see. I think above here should be all things we've we're familiar with. No, never mind. This is the Chronomancer gear. It's right here. It's quite distinctive, as it turns out. Um, okay. Light armor, no poise. Obviously, it doesn't compare defense-wise. Uh, the scythe, which I guess is kind of his signature weapon. Um, create a column of time-slowing energy. I mean, I guess that could be neat, but I don't know. If I really want to rely on slowing down my enemies when I could just outright kill them. I mean, it could be interesting to use, for sure. Maybe more interesting for PvP or something. Because obviously, uh, as a player, getting stuck in one of those time stop or time slow fields is really, really bad. Uh, half Spear. Ooh, that's an interesting looking one. Dexterity and Conviction. Not our stats, unfortunately. Temporal Column. Void Maw. Okay, so no self buff on these ones. Uh, temporal Razor, Great Blade, Twin Dagger, Crossbow, Throwing Daggers. Extends Rage Gain Window. Huh. Rage Gain Window. So you keep gaining Rage for a little bit longer? Or something? I'm not sure. It's not important enough for me to, to want to equip something to, to help with Rage Gain necessarily, but, you know. If I can get it as a bonus on, on a trophy or a, um, an artifact, that's fine, but... I'm not, not gonna go specifically for it. Speeching, spe speeching. Speaking of trophies, though, um, quiet hourglass. A trophy earned by one who disrupts chronomancy. When the ravaging warp of chronomancy seizes, the hourglass becomes quiet. Let's get one of those. Um, chrono, chrono blade amulet increases restock speed. Eh, that's not really important. Extends the rage gain window. Wait. Oh, interesting. Two items with the same effect from the same mage. 
Alright, uh, yeah, so up here this is all old stuff. <laughs> right, so we had looked at this guy. Yes. Um, this is old, of course. So, how about this one? Class 5 light armor, two hander, scythe, whip, rapier, channeling rod. Uh, trophy. Inferion Shrine, a small wooden shrine built to display the leather shoulder piece of a set of Inferion armor. Right, of course we don't have enough materials to craft any of this either. Increases flask drinking speed, oh, that's interesting for sure. I mean, I can't really see myself using a ring slot for that, but... No, I mean, it could be useful for sure. It, I mean, it would definitely be useful. Boost attack power when health is below 20%. Huh. There's at least one other item with that effect. I want to say a dagger talisman, actually. Or dagger charm. Heal on perfect block. Again, I think that's on some other item as well, but I guess it's normal to have the same effect on multiple items. Okay, so this is the Neuromancer gear, which is class 5 light armor. Pretty cool looking, I guess, just from looking at the items with the I small icons here. Uh, stave, whip, uh, a glaive. Okay. Strength and dexterity, though. Really good scaling. B and B. I mean... I don't, I don't know that there are many weapons. Well, I guess I haven't really been looking at all weapons, I suppose, uh, that are of, you know, that I don't have the skill for. So there might be more weapons that actually scale with both strength and dexterity, but I was going to say that, you know, if you knew that there was a kind of endgamish weapon uh, with that kind of scaling and you'd start investing in both of those attributes uh, early and, you know, end up with a lot of both, Something like this could be extremely powerful. Uh, in fact, I mean, it's already powerful, even even though we're we don't have a ton of strength to scale it with. Um, poison and light, interesting combination. Um, oh, it does not actually have any kind of skill built in, though. That's weird. Hmm. Blood brain halberd, a halberd of mind. It sports curious curves along its shaft and blade that appear naturally appeared naturally during the warp the warp smithing process. They represent the impossible geometry of a mind gun mad. Right. Mind eater, scythe, mind spike rod, channeling rod. Um, increases maximum focus, okay. Ooh, by a whole 10 points, that's pretty amazing. I mean, I guess it's only, it seems like a lot because we haven't actually, I haven't actually invested in focus at all, but still seems like a pretty decent bonus. Riddling idol. A wooden idol shaped like a standing uh, orator, orator. Painted to resemble a brain-headed thing. A brain-headed thing. Oh, yeah. Sure, I got one of those. Um, Mind Totem Amulet. Regained focus on perfect block. Oh, interesting. And increased runing arts damage. So we still don't have any dagger charm that increases dark damage. That's a shame. Runing arts damage, yeah. Okay. Um, is there anything super interesting? There's that bow. Was this one? A draconic, draconic bow? I guess so. Red and gold great bow. Yeah, I mean, it just seems like an upgrade over what we currently have. Different damage types, of course. But um, once I get the materials for this one, I guess I'm going to... I'll be getting that. Although, there's also this ring that I'm very interested in. But for now, we can't get it. But yeah, for now we have stamina regen and just attack power. I guess I would be potentially replacing the stamina regen. Since that other ring does give us everything, right? Including extra stamina as well. Right. Yeah, well, so we don't have anything better for now. We have some new trophies, for what it's worth. Oh, where do we get that one? This one, Eternal Greatsword. Massive two-handed blade seemingly carved straight out of a cliffside. It requires tremendous strength to wield properly, but in the right hands can be a devastating weapon. Is that so? I mean, it does have good base damage, I suppose. Especially considering it's not upgraded whatsoever. But then it is a heavy two-handed weapon, so I guess it's expected to be powerful. It's probably very slow, though. Obviously, we don't have the stats for it, so it's not good. Hmm. Don't want to upgrade it. I wanted to... Take a look at it. So at least you can do that. Oh, it's... Can I not see it? Oh, wait. It doesn't look like what I thought it did. 
Oh, okay, because the icon is, is darkened, because it's not usable, or not properly usable. That's why I thought it looked like it was black or anything, or something. Um, yeah. Never mind, it's just a... Well, I mean, it's a decent-looking, beefy, two-handed sword. But not that special-looking. Okay, anyway, uh, we want to stash away these things. Um... I guess I have this Pilgrim's Urn. Don't want this one. What was this again? That's what we were using before, right? But it's only very rare. I mean, yeah, I think I don't think I'm gonna go back to this one. Right. So I guess we will just quickly disenchant that. Um, also, I guess since I've ended up spending as much time as I did back in camp, I will... Well, I probably just uh, uh, travel back to that sealed door, previously sealed door, at the bottom of uh, Bulgaran off-camera, and, you know, if it turns out that there's nothing there, or that it's still sealed, rather, then... I mean, it can't be, right? Because, as far as I'm aware, I've been everywhere that I can reach in Bulgaran. So, hunting any more mages there, specifically, is not possible, as far as, far as I'm aware. So... Yeah, um, sealed doors must just count uh, mages killed uh, globally. I mean, what what made me believe or make me doubt that that was the case initially? I guess because I came across a door that uh, that was required to open for for main story progress, I suppose. Um, that required exactly as many mages as I as I had had access to at that point. So. Yeah, I was just skeptical that the game would actually require me to hunt every single named mage up to that point, but apparently that's just how it is. In fact, maybe you do end up having to hunt one of each named mage uh, to access the the end game in the end. It's, I suppose that's not not that outrageous, is it? Considering it's uh, the central the central well element of the game. It's just what everything revolves around. So yeah, actually not. Not so weird at all. Oh, I forgot about this one. Or did I? Um, I mean, really, I don't. I don't want to ever use very rare, right? Because they they just have fewer modifiers, so they never have, they don't have a chance to. Or they're they're always gonna be better than a really good legendary one. So I'll just always disenchant those and and not even look at them. I mean, I suppose I can look at them, and if they're really good. Um, compared to what I currently have. Of course I can use them, but I'm not going to bother upgrading them, basically. Because, uh, you know, it's just not worth it. Anyway, okay, before I forget again, and I could be doing this off-camera, of course, but... Oh well. Uh, also, do we have new materials for you? Is that Loomis or it is? That's the main ingredient for the alchemical formula for radiant decoction. Okay. Is that steel glass or it sure is? That's the main ingredient for the chemical formula for frost vein decoction. Okay. Oh, hey, well stocked. I guess that those were the last two um, of those consumables. Huh. Now. Uh, Radiant. Sharing golden decoction brewed from Lumus Ore and Golden Moral brilliantly explodes on impact, harming all nearby foes with light damage. Alright. So. Yeah, and then we have frost vein. Fr frost vein. Elegant glass while containing a decoction brewed from steel glass ore and bluestone mushroom bursts on impact, coating nearby surfaces with a fast freezing substance, dealing cold damage. Well, no surprises there. So I guess we have one for each basic damage type now. Yeah, it seems like it. Hmm. But of course, I don't have enough quick slots to actually have them all equipped. Not that I ever use them anyway. Hmm. I'm also really not sure if there's a reason to use both. Flogiston and Firebomb, or if they're basically the same thing, except that Flogiston gets automatically replenished. Whereas Firebomb... I mean, Firebomb also gets automatically replenished, so long as you have actual Firebombs, and you can buy them. So, I guess, there really is the big difference, is there? Poison Bomb and Gut Rot Decoction... Wait, unless this one is... Uh, highly Toxic. No, that, that's also Poison. Not Rot, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I I don't use these ever, so 
I don't really, I don't really need to worry too much about those. Right, more ammo, another Hearthman flask, and both of those are not at the end of their upgrades. And um, hasty concoction, that one apparently is. All right, so seven, weird number, but sure, why not? I mean, it's not inherently a weird number, but you know. Um, right, we were able to upgrade this one right away for what it's worth. I mean, if nothing else, I suppose we have four of those available, whereas we only have three umbral decoctions, so... Sure. Let's uh, switch to that one. Might as well. Right, that's it though, right? Yes. Okay, now, that should be that. Um, made some nice progress again this episode, even though we struggled a little bit, um, but, you know, it happens. And, of course, it's um, part of the fun, to an extent. Um, yeah. Next time, uh, well, again, I'm, I'm gonna check off-camera, but, I mean, uh, basically, the, those doors must be unsealed now, because, again, there's really nothing else to do. No other mages to hunt in Bulgaran, so we're probably just gonna start from there, because as far as I'm aware, yeah, well, the first area should be completely cleared. Bulgaran should be completely cleared, except for that one last door that we unsealed. Um, yeah, and I'm not expecting to find anything too huge past that door. It's probably just another small area with an item or so. Maybe another nameless mage. That could be, I suppose. If so, that might take me a little a little bit longer to deal with. But if not, I guess uh, we're going to move on to the mire then, where we should have access to the, the top right section of the map. And uh, yeah, I'm probably still, still uh, going to want to look at that first before heading into the top left section because well we are a bit stronger now since last time or then last time we or i attempted that so maybe those verdant knights verdant guards whatever are a little bit easier to deal with by now kind of doubt that it's, that uh, there's going to be a significant difference but i'm going to have to deal with them eventually we'll see how long it takes me to uh you know gather my courage anyway enough rambling as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.